What up mates and the nose cover and welcome back to another video today. So today's video is about five things shouldn't be in Call of Duty World War 2. So first guys before we start I just wanna ask you to subscribe and this video is gonna be my number 10 videos on YouTube and I didn't get any subscribers on my last eight videos so please just one subscribe will mean a lot for me and I start lost in hope anyways so please I ask you again to subscribe and let's jump right into it so first let's start with the most hated thing in Call of Duty yes it's supply drops be sure 100% the supply drops is gonna be and it will be in the next Call of Duty, Call of Duty World War 2. First, because Activision make a lot of money from them. And second, this is Sludgehammer, the studio who produced supply drops for us in the first place. So let's hope they make a good supply drop system like Unfate Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered. They did a great job with the supply drops. They give us a uh, salvage in a fit warfare. At least, if you spend $100 in supply drops in a fit warfare, you guaranteed something. You guaranteed salvage. Not just like Black Ops 3. If you spend $100 in supply drops, you're not guaranteed anything at all. So, to make this game great, they should make a great supply drop system no overpowered weapons and they should give us second way to buy weapons like salvage in a fit wolfie next up we have camos and characters so as we all knew this game take place in world war 2 so they should give us something to remind you or something give you the feeling of playing a world war 2 game and they should they should not give us something too crazy in the characters and all the camos like uh, a clone holding a pink RBG or <laughs> something like that. So anyways they should focus in the camos and the characters they should not give us something too crazy and that's it for the camos. Next up we have glitches, glitches some of you will agree with me some of you not and I talk about the glitches in general like the glitch who happens to unfit wolf a couple of months ago the key glitch and the glitches like a glitching with a wall or glitching with a spot in the map so all this happens so what they should do they should fix that like unfit wolf a unfit wolf a the glitch happens two weeks one week they fix it or even if it a glitch will make them lose their money they fix it right away like the key glitch they fix it in two hours so we should see that in the next Call of Duty game next up we have bad bounds yes bad bounds they told us in the trailer or in the live stream this game will be realistic as possible so the weapon is, if the weapon is powerful in real life it should be powerful also in the game no fucking every two weeks the rvn like i'm fit over the rvn is overpowered nerf it the what else the rect is overpowered nerf it the uca is overpowered nerf it i mean this is not a futuristic game like black ops 3 or advanced warfare or even unfit warfare this is game or a story of a game happened in real life so they should keep things real and keep things realistic as possible as they said next up we have bad maps just like call of duty ghost we have pretty much all of them or the most of them are bad the maps should be not too big or not too small so if we gonna play as a 18 or 16 player we should have medium 
two small maps and if we gonna apply as a 48 player we should have big maps and if we gonna use and if it gonna be tanks or vehicles in the battles should we should have a very big maps just like battlefield or even smaller so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed if you did please subscribe and tomorrow i gonna upload a video just like this one except i gonna talk about the good things and that's it guys and please subscribe for more the nose cover signed out